Governor Abbott put a ban on mask mandates in the classroom in your state, and that decision was held up by the Texas Supreme Court. I should mention Governor Abbott testing positive for COVID yesterday. Do you think the pushback to masking that you're seeing in your district would be less severe without Abbott's ban on mask mandates? Well, actually, we're not getting much push pushback at all from our parents, our students, our staff members. I was in three schools a day, and we had 100% compliance uh, from all the students, staff, and faculty members. So I've had very little pushback except from the state of Texas, which is ironic. And so um, we're, we're just kind of navigating the waters as we go through it. But I do want to add one point of clarification. Once the Supreme Court rules that it includes Dallas ISD, then we will comply. Mm -hmm. But the ruling that has been issued applies to Dallas County. We're the Dallas Independent School District. We're separate from the county. So therefore, our attorneys say that we can proceed until there is a notice of a ruling that directly affects me and or the school district. Are you concerned about any potential funding fallout to come as you stick firm on the mask mandate? Well, we've heard that threat in Florida, but not Texas. But yeah. also, it's ironic that we can't even have virtual uh, school. We would not get funding if we had virtual school, which one of some, a lot of our parents want because they're so scared. And then we can't you know, even ask for, for uh, vaccines if they haven't taken a vaccine in Texas. And so we have incentivized the behavior that we want. So we're paying people $500 to prove that they're vaccinated. And we've gotten a great response on that one as well. So we're just trying all three legs of the stool, trying to move them forward so we can have school because they need to be back in school. I, I promise you, our kids are behind. Thanks for watching Bloomberg Quick Take Now. Subscribe to our channel to see the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the world. And tune in to our 24-7 live stream for global news coverage, interviews, deep dives, shows, and documentaries on the stories you care about most.